it seems that language appeared from nowhere, since no other species has anything resembling human language. However, other animals do possess basic systems for perceiving and producing sounds that enable them to communicate. These systems may have been in place before the appearance of language. Most companies can save around 15% to 20% of their energy consumption through a combination of measures, such as getting people to turn off lights, resetting temperature switches, reducing air conditioning use and insulating, says James Wild, head of strategy at the Carbon Trust. Since its inception, the UN system has been working to ensure adequate food for all through sustainable agriculture. The majority of the world's poorest people live in rural areas of developing countries. They depend on agriculture and related activities for their livelihoods. This makes them particularly vulnerable to man-made and natural influences that re reduce agricultural production.
The maximum yield of plants, determined by their genetic potential, is seldom achieved because factors such as insufficient water or nutrients, adverse climate conditions, plants diseases, and insect damage will limit growth at some stage. Plants subjected to these biotic and abiotic constraints are said to be stressed. The preparation of abstracts is an intellectual effort requiring general familiarity with the subject. To bring out the salient points of an author's argument calls for skills and experience. Consequently, a considerable amount of qualified manpower that could be used to advantage in other ways must be diverted to the task of facilitating access to information. We're constantly looking for ways to bring industry and agriculture closer together. We're constantly looking for ways to bring industry and agriculture closer together. The technician left the new microscope in the biology lab. The technician left the new microscope in the biology lab. Reading is beneficial because we can get a lot of information from the reading materials. Reading is beneficial because we can get a lot of information from the reading materials. When you click on the name of a book, you will see the information of this book. When you click on the name of a book, you will see the information of this book. Cancer medicine generates enormous revenues, but marginal benefits for patients. Cancer medicine generates enormous revenues, but marginal benefits for patients.
Irwin was one of the key architects of quantum mechanics in the early part of the 20th century. Irwin was one of the key architects of quantum mechanics in the early part of the 20th century. The following graph shows journeys made by men and women in the United Kingdom in 2006, according to their purpose. According to the image, the maximum number of men can be seen in commuting and business, which is approximately 23%. The least for both men and women is walking and holiday day trip, which is only 1%. On, on the other hand, the maximum number of women can be seen in shopping which is around 23%. Overall, we can see that rest women and men are at the same number. The following graph gives information about an auditorium. According to the image, it shows there are seven columns of seats, which are red. Followed by that, there is a small dais standing in front of the seating area. From this graph, we can see that the indoor lighting is very bright. We can also see from this graph that there is a big and white projection screen behind the dais. There are six windows in the walls. In conclusion, this graph is very informative.
The following graph gives information about adults versus teens, number of texts on a typical day. According to the image we can see that the maximum number of adults is around 51% from 1 to 10. On the other hand, the maximum number of teens can be seen as around 29%. From the age group of 11 to 20 and 20, 21 to 50, have almost the same trend on both the adults and teens. Overall, adults have the lowest value in 51 to 100, is around 7%. The following graph gives information about how a hotel reservation is executed. According to the image, the steps include hotel website, request receiving by email, hotel administrator, confirm reservation by phone, customer, and filling out a request form. According to this image, the first step is hotel website, which is, which is on a computer. The second step is to the request received by hotel administrator via email. The third step is to confirm the request by phone, followed by filling out a request form as the final step. In conclusion, this graph is very informative. The following image gives the information about the solar panel to heat water. According to the image, we can see how the process is done. The steps include sun rays, cool water in, transparent top, water pipe, box and warm water out. The first step is cool water coming in through the inlet as the blue arrow shows, followed the second second step, which is sun rays coming down on the transparent top of the square box, and the third step is the heat energy of sun rays, heating cool water in the water pipe. Finally, the warm water out from the box through the outlet, as the red arrow shows. In conclusion, this graph is very informative.
The following image provides the information about vocabulary for different age groups. According to the image different items include age group of 0 to 10, 10 to 20, and 20 to 30 years old. In 20 to 30, the value of the vocabulary is around 37,000, and that of 10 to 20 is lower, which is around 22,000. You can see from this graph that the lowest value of the vocabulary is in 0 to 10, which is 8,000. In conclusion, the higher the age, the more the vocabulary they have. But Aristotle says the reason we need rhetoric is we have to be able to use it. To use rhetoric influence the ramble. We try to get them to understand truth. Truth is suggest. It's different than rhetoric. Rhetoric is the dressing, is the body, right? Truth, truth is the spirit, is the soul, is abstract. It doesn't have a body. It's not particular. If you want to get somebody to the truth, you might have to use some kind of tricks, right? Because most of people are not sound and can see the truth. That's what we think. Most people are rambles, really. Only the educated be erudite are actually capable of seeing the truth. If you want to get the general mass there, you may have to do a little bit. So Aristotle, that is rhetoric. Rhetoric is something that is used to influence people, right? And it's kind of mentally promised a logic. The lecture is on truth and rhetoric. Speaker talks about the use of rhetoric influence. Truth is the spirit and it doesn't have a body. Speaker mentions if you want to get somebody to the truth, you might have to use some kind of tricks. Speaker talks about rhetoric which is something that is used to influence people. Overall, the lecture is very informative. Our civilization, which subsumes most of its predecessors, is a great ship steaming at speed into the future. It travels faster, further, and more laden than any before. We may not be able to foresee every reef and hazard, every reef and hazard, but by reading her compass bearing and headway, by understanding her design, her safety record, and the abilities of her crew, we can, I think, plot a wise course between the narrows and bergs looming ahead. And I believe we must do this without delay, because there are too many shipwrecks behind us. The vessel we are now aboard is not merely the biggest of all time, it's also the only one left. The future of everything we've accomplished since our intelligence evolved, will depend on the wisdom of our actions over the next few years. Like all creatures, humans have made their way in the world so far by trial and error. Unlike other creatures, we have a presence so colossal that error is a luxury we can no longer afford. The world has grown too small to forgive us any big mistakes.
The lecture is on civilization and its battle with the ship. Speaker talks about a ship and it travels faster, and we may not be able to foresee every reef and hazard. Speaker mentions by understanding the design and the safety record, I think, plot a wise course between the Narrows and Bergs looming ahead. Overall, the lecture is very informative. What do you call the line that the Earth travels around the Sun? What do you call the line that the Earth travels around the Sun? Answer is, orbit. What do we call the ceremony where people get married? What do we call the ceremony where people get married? Answer is, wedding. How often does a biennial convention take place? How often does a biennial convention take place? Answer is, every two years. What is the habitat of camels? What is the habitat of camels? Answer is, desert. What is the occupation that transfers one language to another language? What is the occupation that transfers one language to another language? Answer is, translator. What do forks, spoons, and knives belong to? What do forks, spoons, and knives belong to? Answer is, cutlery. What do we call the person who plays musical instruments? What do we call the person who plays musical instruments? Answer is, musician. What do you throw underwater to keep ships staying on rivers or oceans without drifting away?
What do you throw underwater to keep ships staying on rivers or oceans without drifting away? Answer is, anchor. How do you call the movements that the babies move by using hands and legs? How do you call the movements that the babies move by using hands and legs? Answer is, crawling. What is the opposite of division in mathematics? What is the opposite of division in mathematics? Answer is, multiplication. What is a painting of a person's head called? What is a painting of a person's head called? Answer is, portrait.